What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with Zero, and welcome to episode number probably eight of our Pokemon White Domination. In the last episode, we made it here to Nacreen City and explored around and had a battle with N just outside of the Nacreen Library. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on the Nacreen Gym. So if you're enjoying Pokemon White, all I have to say is thank you so much for checking out the videos. If you know someone else that might enjoy this video, share it with them, share it on your Twitter, share it wherever you think might be relevant to help us out, help us grow. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it with a team recap as we strap ourselves up. Let's see who we got for this gym. First up, we have the Return, Oscar the level 17 Sep Ice type Sceptile. Not holding an item, but he is Timid Nature with Crunch Slam, Confuse Ray, and Sand Attack um, with the Immunity ability. Next up, we have our Starter, the level 20, uh, Katita, the level 20 Ground type Mag Mortar, holding the Amulet Coin, Timid Nature with Vacuum Wave Cut, Lava Plume, and Whirlwind with the Dry Skin ability, which has come in clutch every episode. Then we have Emery, our level 18 Psychic type Porygon 2, not holding any item with the Brave Nature with Swift Hurricane Roost and Body Slam. And that is our team for now. I do think I can give Oscar an item. I do believe we have these black glasses here. Now, Emery, what item can I give you? You have a flying and normal type. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's see here, let's see here. What is this? All right, well anyway, we don't have an item for Emery, but let's get to it in this gym because I do believe that is what's next. Let me check our items real fast and just make sure that I have at least three super potions. I have exactly three super potions. Well, I only get one heal during this episode and I'll probably use it before the gym leader. Let's see here. I really don't have that much money, but I have enough to get... I guess I can grab two more of these. And we'll try to hold on to some money, because if I can only use three super potions per battle anyway, there's no need to really have a whole lot of those items. So here we are in the Nacreen Library. Oh, wow! Whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated. Oh. Welcome, I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. This is this skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an ancient that it had an ancient what? What? There's a theory that it had an ancient while it was an accident while it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. <laughs> at the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader Lenora happens to be my wife. Thanks for the info. Does anybody give me anything free? Whoa, controller. I stopped moving. Uh. Anyway, it is very early. Um, I usually don't record this early. Usually I've already had it, already had videos recorded by now. A Pokemon gym where a leader waits to challenge you at the back of a museum and has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So I will give this to you. Thanks for the fresh water, my guy. All trainers use normal type. Really? Really? This says I'm supposed to go to Pinwheel Forest first. Well, I'm not gonna argue. Because Gym Leader Lenora's top Pokemon is probably gonna be level 22 or 23. Right now we have 17s and stuff, so let me see. Pick up this hidden item first. And then we'll take on a trainer or two and then we'll go to the gym. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get our encounter first, but, um, oh. Yo, traveling trainer, are your Pokemon getting stronger? Here, this might come in handy. Usually I'd get excited about that, because that's just free mo- 
Oh, you just gave me Rock Smash. If you go straight, it doesn't take long, but if you go the wrong way, it's a maze. In real forest. Okay, I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to do this yet. Let's run back. Let's run back and take on the gym. I'm holding right, I promise. Okay, thank you. I've tried going... Okay, controller! Please stop. I don't get it. I'm wonder I'm still curious if it's this if it's the new emulator that I'm using or what. But anyway, anyway. We'll get the battles that we need in here. If you spend the whole day reading books or training Pokemon, you're probably gonna be pretty good. So let's see what you got, Ranger Kim. You have a Talo. For some reason, oh, you start at level 20. All right, Oscar, let's get it. Black guy, black, gla black glasses boosted. It is too early to enunciate. Reversal. I was very concerned. I was very, very concerned. I, I just hope that our defense is like ready. Uh, I hope our defense is like ready to take an attack. All right, this is a pretty cool gym if I remember correctly. Oh, are you looking for a book? I think nice to meet you Pokemon is on a shelf near the entrance. Oh. Apparently my trainer just wants to... Alright. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Yes. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is a small brown Pokemon. He's with a small brown Pokemon. Pokemon trainers. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> At Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader, Lenora. I have four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now, this is time for the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now, try to find it. That took me a minute to find Lenora's voice. All right, I think I'm just gonna talk to this person again. Hello, trainer. You found a memo already and you're looking for a book about a Pokemon? Teehee, in fact, I am also reading about a Pokemon. It's about Tepig. No. Okay, well. The biology of Patrat. That is it. Describes the biology of Patrat. They communicate with each other by movement of their tails. A Patrat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. As the thought, that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is, somebody may be reading it. Is it the lady that just turned around? Hmm, I see. Oh, did you find the memo and come here to look for this book? What does the memo say? I'm reading a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this book the correct answer? Yes, it is. The flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke from its head while it runs. That's exactly how a locomotive looks. Well, I'll let you read this book. But before that... Yeah, okay. I really hope we don't get destroyed. Spinarak... Whoa, didn't even notice it was going dark. That's been happening a lot recently. I know exactly why, but I just don't want to fix it. It would take me like five minutes to fix it, honestly. It would take me like five minutes to fix it. All right, so we're level, so Oscar is level 18. Return a book to the shelf after reading. It's a rule when you read a book. Emery's also level 18, so let's get Oscar General studies. The structure of a locomotive. Yes. Book about a locomotive. Flame burns inside his body and it gives off smoke from his head while it runs using steam power. 
It's impressive that you found this place. Well, that's what I expect from a trainer like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? It is on a bookshelf close to the entrance than here. Let's assume it's this one. Sweets for Pokemon. Yes. It describes delicious sweets made by blah, 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 Poffins. Oh, I found a memo. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now, this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backward, one to the left, two forward, one to the right, and one backward. Now, where is it? The hint is find it by yourself. Well, since you just gave me a circle by going two back, one left, two forward, one right, and then one back, it's simply right here. I'm wondering, did you see the last memo and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? The answer is yes. And I'm going to whoop your butt. I'm going to whoop your butt. I don't care if you got three Pokemon. That means they level 18 just like me. 17 even. And this Monferno isn't going to have any fire type attacks. That would be cheating if he had fire type attacks. He has Metal Burst, which is going to hurt. It's too early for this. It's too early for this. It's too early for this. Well, I really wish it wasn't early because I probably would have had a better reaction to that. And he had Bullet Punch? I was destined to die there. Are we serious? Did I just lose Oscar? Did I just lose Oscar? <laughs> Why? Why, Cruel World? Why, Cruel World? Ugh. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm going for Hurricane. Oh, I should have gone for... Well, no, I should have... Swift, because I'm special. Wow. This does nothing. Oh, come on. Alright, I gotta use one of my... I still have three heals in this battle, technically. I still have three heals, because... Extra sensory. What the heck is this Tangrowth, dude? Alright. I guess I'm gonna go Hurricane... I'm gonna speed it up just for this little bit because I knew I was gonna miss that. I knew for a fact I was gonna miss that. And now I'm paralyzed. Oh, and now I hit. That's surprising. I really did not expect to hit there. Oh, now he's confused. Okay. A little bit in our favor. He hits himself. Paralyzed. Zap cannon should be okay. Just avoiding everything. Come on. Alright, I gotta use another heal. I have one heal left. He did not hit himself in confusion one time. He's been confused for four or five turns. And he did not hit himself once. Yet he's landed every except one zap cannon, I think. Well, now we're level 20. About to send out Eevee. What's Eevee going to have? Shadow Ball? Fire Pledge? Ancient Power. Okay. Wow! That's sad. No, I don't want to read the last book. How about you shut up and I'm leaving? I'm never coming back to this stupid library! I just wanted to come on. I wanted to record. I didn't want to miss a day. 
I really didn't because I'm on the grind and I wanted to, you know, continue to show that I'm on the grind. <laughs> and yet again, I have more dead than I have alive. Oscar! <laughs> Alright, well, the second coming of Oscar. Wait, 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 wait. The second coming of Oscar was not quite the same as the first coming of Oscar. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. Okay, those PC sounds can stop anytime. Alright. I have three super potions. I really don't need more than that. Let me go ahead and get three paralyzed heals. Let me go ahead and get three of these. Get three of these. I finally have enough money that that makes sense to do. Okay. So now we go into battling gym leader Lenora with two Pokemon. I almost feel like I should lead with Katita because I don't know if I trust Emery to hit anything. Because that hurricane has been extremely unreliable. You know who was reliable? Oscar was reliable. Until he got hit by a metal sound. <sighs> Describes the biology of Tepig. Flame burns and stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. I can, I can do that voice a whole lot better, but my morning voice is not awake yet. I'm not awake yet. So, hold on. Usually, I've already been to the gym by this point of the day, but today was a rest day, so I did not go to the gym. Alright, let's go ahead and save our game, I guess, with our two Pokemon. <sighs> so sad. So sad. You know what? I am going to lead Katita. Because we haven't gotten to use Katita in a minute. Oh, I am leading Katita. Oh, and I'm still dead. Alright. Well, let me fix that. And let me super potion. I should have really checked to see like how many hurricanes I had left. But... Because I think... Well... I would be really surprised if we needed more than Katita. Like if Katita can't take out this gym, this could be the end of the gym. Welcome! <clears throat> the director of the Nacreen Museum and the Nacreen Gym's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raised. Thomas. Does not look like a Thomas to me. Definitely looks like a Lenora. Starts with a lady in level 22? 21. Okay. Cool. I think Katita will be okay. Oh, we have not seen Katita in a minute. Katita. Vacuum wave. It does not affect. Okay. This would have been perfect to switch into Oscar, and uh, you just rose your special defense. Let me Lava Plume, see how much this does, and then we'll... Oh wait, your special defense is raised. I got the burn! Yeah! Yeah, Katita! All right. This is what kind of trainer I am. You ain't gonna set up on me. Get your burn self out of her. You have a Magnezone that's level 23. Alrighty then. Vacuum wave. That was super effective, but that did not do anything. That did a lot. I only have two heals in this battle. I should be able to live one more.
The thing is, Katita's going to have to be the one to take out this thing. So let's go again. Let me use one of my... I, again, I have two heals, so let me use one of them now. Dragon Pulse does a lot. <laughs> I need to be able to live one more after shoot. Alright, I really didn't want to do this yet, but I've got to use my last heal. Okay, I should be okay. I should be okay. He's just spamming Dragon Pulse. Holy cow. This guy has one agenda. He's only got a plan A. He Oh! The that was a clutch crit, Katita. Fantastic. That was a super clutch crit. Smackdown? Nah, I'm good. I really like our, our current set. Well, when I say really like, I mean better than SmackDown. And we just grew two levels off of that. Have I really not switched this to set yet? I should probably change that. All right. Whoa, this music just turned up. All right, let's go. Oh, I knew that. All right, let's go for a hurricane. Nice, nice, Emery. We finally hit a hurricane in a time that it mattered. Oh, the clutchness, the clutchness, the clutchness, the clutchness. The clutchness. All right. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Your fighter style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. Why are you giving out the basic badge, Lenora? Isn't that like... Shouldn't that... Never mind. I'm just going to let that go. Yeah. Two badges. If you have two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30, we'll obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. Right, hold on, I gotta check something. I gotta do some research on something real quick. Uh, this one, and we'll go like this. Black and white, this one right here. All right. Aqua Ring, another useless item. Dear! Uh, dear! Come quickly! Uh, Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! What? Like, what's going on? Domino, you come too! As much as I would love to join you, I'm going to take my place here, and based on the time and the time that I have, that's going to be it for today's episode. Today, we did our second gym battle. We lost a friend. We lost a friend near and dear to our heart, but it's probably for the best. Um, we probably didn't want Oscar for two Let's Plays or something. I don't know. Anyway, if you did enjoy our second gym battle, enjoyed this episode, thank you so much for checking out the video. Again, that's really all I have to say. If you did enjoy and you know someone that might enjoy our videos, share this with them so we can help, so you can help us grow. We'll see you in the next episode where we're gonna go confront Team Plasma and then head off towards Castelia City. Woo! We will see you then. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.